Hmm. So I was gonna do a tutorial today, but I'm stuck in this weird stone. I'm not sure what this is, but luckily, I got a quartz pickaxe. Hmm. I wonder what this drops. Ooh, got some quartz. Oh, I got some quartz dust. Oh, I wonder what that's for. But yeah, today the tutorial I want us to do is on a pretty cool mod. It's called Applied Energistics. Let's get started. <laughs> so, we're back. So, Applied Energistics. It's a pretty cool mod. As you can see, this is a quartz ore. An ore form. Pretty, pretty cool, pretty cool. You can make some pretty cool tools, you know, quartz, axe, shovel, sword. But there's lots of uses to this um, block. And you need a lot of it, like seriously a lot, in order to uh, get far in this mod. So I'm going to show you guys how to do that. Oops. Okay, so this is what that quartz, this quartz crystal and this quartz dust can do. This is just like simple, this is basically like the simple version, there's more complex machines and stuff. But I'm just going to go over the basics, just to give you a brief introduction to it. So, where should we start? This right here. Oops, okay. So the ME controller. First of all, how is this crafted? The way this is crafted is, hold on, oh, the way this is crafted is, oh, where'd I go, where'd I go, e. oh, crap, okay, the way this is crafted is, oh, son of a bitch, son of a bitch, okay, recipe, the way this is crafted is, iron, the quartz crystal that we mined up earlier, iron, quartz crystals and this ME advanced processor. So how do you get that? By smelting an advanced processor assembly. How do you get that? By a diamond, two redstone, silicon, which is just smelting the dust, as you can see, and a quartz cutting knife, which is just an iron, two sticks, and two quartz crystals. It has a pretty long durability. It doesn't break. It's not a one-time use thing. It has a durability. It lasts for a while. So, once you get that, you get this nifty machine. So what's it do? This is basically the CPU of the whole computer. This is the whole computer. This is the CPU. I, I would consider it a CPU. So, how does it work? Well, first of all, you have to add power to it. So, as you can see, it's now fully powered. So, oh, excuse my phone. So, once this is fully powered, you can do lots of stuff with it. For example, if we grab some of this ME cable, hold on. ME cable. Oops. Don't want it to fall. ME cable. This thing. This is crafted. How is this crafted? Mm, right here. Quartz fiber and two redstone. So, how does this work? You can connect this to either side. And you can output. Oh, yeah. So you can add these to each side, however you want. And this ME controller will read. And each of these ME cables take up takes up a little bit of energy. So once you start adding more stuff to it, it'll consume more energy. So what's the next thing we want to build? Now that we've got the uh, ME controller, what do we do next? Well can come over here and find this thing. This is called an ME drive. What is ME drive? This is basically like um, a storage room where you can keep all your hard drives. And as you can see, this is an ME 16K storage unit. ME. You can just type storage and we'll have, oops, come on, 
storage. Hmm. They're right here. You can get a 1K, a 16K, a 64K. Now let's grab all of these. Okay. So, these are the uh, hard drives, basically. You put them into this storage center. You can just shift click. And as you can see, the areas are lit up. Oops. Yeah, so this, this um, one thing about the Emmy controller, it can send power through the cable. So, as you can see, it's lit up. Now it's not. Anyways, yeah, that's some, that's really good to know. Something you should know. Okay, these are um, ME drives. I'm not going to show you how to craft them because you can look it up yourself. But let's give you something. Let's see. 1K. This is the smallest one. So this is what you'd want to start out with. But uh, I would suggest doing this like at a kind of like a medium to like end game kind of thing because it's really expensive. So this is a uh, redstone, glass, iron, and this storage cell. This storage cell is for redstone, for quartz crystals, ME basic processor. This is the most basic type of processor you can get. This is by smelting a basic processor assembly, and you get that by gold, redstone, silicone, and the quartz cutting knife. Yeah, so these have basically a lot of stuff let's see yeah th these recipes are really mm, not sure what the word I'm looking for is but it's very gruesome lots of crafting and it's very time-consuming and really resource intensive oh well, yeah crafting intensive that's what I was gonna look for so now that you got your hard drives and your store and your storage unit and you drive how do I craft that hold on M E drive. You craft that by a chest, two glass, two ME basic processors, and four iron. Cool. So this is your storage room. These are your these are your hard drives. And let's one thing about these, so this is the most basic one. This one holds zero out of a thousand and twenty four bytes. And this one can hold up to 63 types. All of them can hold up to 63 types. As you can see, I already have some on this. So bytes are basically the amount of uh, blocks that you put in it. But if you put a thousand blocks of a grass block, you, you will have one type. And the certain amount of bytes that that stack of grass blocks would use. As you can see, I have some 13 different items in here, different types. And... The amount of the types I have in there, those are like the amount of bytes that's in there, if that makes any sense. So, how do I access them? Well, if you spread some more cable, and as you can see, this ME controller can read anything that's connected to it. If you go here, ME access terminal. So, oops, oops. What's this nifty contraption? How do we craft it? I'm just going to show you how to craft the, the most uh, important machines. Now this isn't like a full in-depth tutorial. This is kind of like an introduction. And the way you can use it, like, not really early on, but the reason why you would want to use it the most. So this is a two, four iron, three glass, ME cable, which is just two redstone and the uh, dust, of oh, the fiber, the cable. Um, and this conversion matrix. How do you make this? Four iron, two redstone, one ME basic processor. We would know how to get that. So, this what's this nifty contraption? So this is ME terminal. As you can see, it's showing you everything I have in this one. So if I take it out, there's nothing there because there's nothing stored in these. So if I put it back, it'll show you everything I have stored in there. Which is pretty cool. So basically, this is where you can access the the ME terminal. Is some is where you can access your your um, you can call them hard drives, but they're called ME 16K, 64K, which is really really expensive, and so on and so forth. So it's pretty cool. But you can go even further with the ME terminal, and you can get something called an ME crafting terminal, as what you can tell by the name. 
you can craft stuff in here. So let's grab this fir wood. So we can put that fir wood back. And what's pretty cool, like um, the items that stack, they just stack over and over again. They don't, they don't have like a 64, then 64 here, then 64 here. They stack all of those uh, blocks you store in here. They stack in one little item slot. It's pretty cool. So you can just click, 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 click. And as you can see, the uh, fur logs are going down. So whatever you craft here, it'll take out of the um, storage, which is pretty cool. This is, this, this, this is really the reason why you would want to use this. You can do lots of more complex stuff, but, you know, this is the basics. I can get more in depth if you want. But for now, this is basic. So as you can see, these are the amount of cables I've had. These are the uh, machines I'm using. And this is you can do a pretty cool trick with this. Um this is this is how I use it. So I'm going to attach something to the ME storage. So what I want to do here. Oops. Whoops, whoops, god damn it, is get an import bus. And an import bus is basically, you're importing out of the uh, selected um, storage unit. So I'm going to pump out of an ender chest. So as you can see, I'm going to just plunk it down right here. It's kind of too tall. Right here. And let's grab an ender chest. So if you hook up a quarry to this ender chest, let the quarry pump directly into the ender chest. Basically, oh, come on. Come on. Why why won't you place? Ah, crap. Oh well, we can do it this way too. Let's grab a wrench. Yeah. So, as you can see, quarry will be pumping um the items out that it mines out into the ender chest and the ender chest will ender chest will pump into here for example let's grab i don't know anything really let's grab 64 lime wool so the quarry picks up 64 lime wool plunk it in there and as you can see it's importing it into here now you can change the settings into this and you can also filter it so this will this is this is moving stack single items you can set it to stacks at a time and as you can see It'll just take the whole stack. And you, you can make this faster. So if you have like, like a super powered and like really fast quarry. Oops. You can uh, add more import buses and make it even faster. So this is pretty much it. It's not really a long tutorial like my other ones. But I kind of want to make something different. Like as you can see the intro. You know make it unique. Most intros are like down straight to the point. But you know. Yeah, having a little fun with this. That's what you're supposed to do when making videos. You can't. I can't fully be myself because I'm just explaining stuff. But you know, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. So, run down the Emmy controller. As you can see, it reads all of the uh, things that are attached to it. You need to provide power for it. So either MJ or EU will work. But the more um, but the more stuff you add to it, the more um energy it takes so as you can see 19 units per tick before when it was just by itself just go now it's going down yet yeah, it consumes six per tick so oh one thing that i uh learned the hard way i was scared i couldn't access my terminal anymore see unable to communicate with the controller so that that's because this doesn't have any power so the, so your stuff will still be here don't worry kind of freaked out because I couldn't access this at one point and these are easily transferable so if I want to go over here transfer all my items somewhere I can just plunk them down back here and I'm able to access them so yeah it's pretty cool so you, the quarry would pump into the to the ender chest and just put all of your stuff in here neatly organized you can do it by Alphabetical number of items, priority, cell number, these little, you see how the sticky piston has 29, yeah, etc, etc. This is not really a in-depth tutorial. This is just simple. How to get your, how to get into Apply Energistics. So this is the ME controller. 
runs power to the ME drive, which has these hard drives, you can say, ME terminals, the way you can access your items. This is an import bus. It imports the items from the ender chest and puts them directly into the ME terminal. And this is another version of the MB terminal. It's the crafting terminal, as you can see. You can just craft stuff. Oh, I can't put stuff in here because I don't have a storage unit in there. But if I go in here, I can just safely put all my stuff. Well, that's pretty much it, guys. Thank you guys for watching. And have a nice day.